What's going on, Omni Buddies? Mitch here, and today, do you know what time it is? It's unboxing time. All right, so we're gonna get right into it. We have an awesome package. I have been super excited about, I know at least one or two of the books in here for a very long time. Uh, if you've been watching any live streams I've been a part of or uh, anything else, you know the one omnibus I have been the most excited for all year and I think it's in this package. So we're going to dive right into it. Uh, this package comes from none other than our sponsor, Organic Price Books. If you have never shopped at Organic Price Books, especially if you're in the US of A, you need to be doing that because they have the best packaging you will find for any books on the market in the country, probably in the world. No joke, no hyperbole, the best. They ship super fast. The communication is just out of this world. Super fast communication, super fast shipping, super good packaging, and really competitive pricing. And right now, uh, from Thanksgiving, through uh, the Monday after Black Friday, so what is that, Cyber Monday, uh, there is 5% off if you use code OMNIBUDDY. You can get 5% off your entire order. That includes pre-orders too. So if you wanna stack up for all next year, uh, everything solicited, everything in the FOC section, which is the final order cutoff, so all those pre-orders, you can get 5% off your entire order. Not just two bucks off like the normal OMNIBUDDY code, but if you use code OMNIBUDDY, 5% off. What is that? Three and two? 5% off. So make sure to do it. Make sure to hit them up. You're not going to be not gonna be ashamed of yourself for doing that. Unless you drop a ton of money, you might be ashamed of yourself, but let's be real. None of us are going to be ashamed of you or ourselves. So let's get into this book. I have already cut it open. Let's... Ugh. Nice box here. See, this is that sick double-walled box. We open it up. We have that attention postmaster, awesome, awesome note that JP does uh, to tell the postmaster because sometimes they say, "Oh, graphic novels don't uh, don't qualify for media mail." They do, and that note tells them why and how. So you shouldn't get charged when you go to get your when you get your package, or they try and drop a note saying, "Hey, you owe extra because it's not media mail." Well, it is, and that note helps them realize that it is. Anyways, let's get this open. Look at this. Look, look at it. Right there. Do you see that? Do you see how good a packaging that is? All right. Ugh. We have three books in here. I am so stoked for these. <sighs> Got my scissors back. If you haven't watched the latest video, uh, I've been missing my scissors. I've been using my kid's scissors forever. And now I have my handy dandy good scissors back that I found because uh, kids like to hide things and not remember where they hid them, even when you ask them. And then you're about to go buy new scissors and then they all of a sudden magically turn up when you open up a random bin of toys or something. That's what parenthood is like. Anyways, let's open this up. Got one package there. Gotta cut more. Oh my gosh, I can see, I can see the book I've been so excited for forever. We're gonna open it up, we're gonna save it for last. First book, very, very excited for this. And I never buy trade paperbacks, but I had to support the boys from some of the omnibus groups on Facebook. Uh, Julio Anta uh, wrote this book and it looks awesome. I've heard nothing but great things about it. Other great thing, if you order this book from Organic Price Books, you get an exclusive to Organic Price Books signed book plate. Look at that. How awesome is that? It's sticky on the back. You can peel it off and stick it on the inside. We're going to see. I generally don't stick them on just because I'm paranoid of making it look weird or messing it up or something. So I just tuck them in. But I'm going to wait and see because this is a volume one edition. Uh, wait and see. Maybe they'll do a hardcover edition when a couple more volumes come out and I can stick the signed book plate in the hardcover. We'll see. Anyways, uh, look for a review on home. It looks awesome. It's uh, let me read the back here real quick. After being separated from his mother at the U S border, a young Guatemalan immigrant 
must learn to harness his emerging superhuman abilities while being hunted by the federal government. Holy crap, this sounds amazing. Not only is it topical with everything going on in the US and the world right now, but it puts that superhuman twist on there. Cannot wait to dig into this. Uh, this is printed through Image and you can get that signed book plate uh, at Organic Price Books. Use code OMNIBUDDY, 5% off. There you go, boom. And you're supporting a small starting out uh, creator too, which is awesome. So let's dive into the next thing. Next thing, one of the first comics I ever read when I got into reading comics was this series. It is Batman by Snyder. And this is volume two. It finally, finally came out, you guys. I am so stoked to be able to go through this again. Read the uh, Court of Owls and Death of the Family and then read Zero Year. Uh, I stopped reading single issues in the middle of Zero Year. So I think I started, I, I think I dropped off right before volume two or something like that started. So I'm so stoked to go back through and read me some really good Batman. All right, last book. And this is the book, The Omnibus. You're not going to be expecting that this is an omnibus I'm going to be talking about. Uh, but this is my most anticipated omnibus of 20, what year is it? 2021. Most anticipated. I'm so excited to read this. It is Witchfinder Volume 2. <sighs> so excited. Witchfinder Volume 2. If you're not reading Mike Mignola's uh, Mignolaverse, Hellboy, BPRD, Witchfinder, uh, what else has he got? Abe Sapien, Baltimore, tons of like little hardcover side stories like Jenny Finn and all those. This universe is ridiculously cool. It is deep. It is awesome. Loved volume one of Witchfinder. Volume two finally came out. I love, love these books. And they're smaller than normal omnibuses. Uh, you can kind of see, um, actually, they're the size of a trade paperback, right? a little bit bigger. So, which it's a hardcover, so actually the pages are the size of a trade paperback, but uh, fits that art so well. I mean, I love the Hellboy library editions and all those, but it's so good and you can't go wrong with getting these hardcovers. Uh, Dark Horse is killing it on these hardcovers. The only thing that's wrong with it is they don't keep them in print for very long and they don't reprint them often, if at all. So if you're gonna get in the Mignolaverse, you gotta get into it fast, which uh, I made a FOMO video about waiting. There's always an exception to the rule and Usagi Yojimbo and Witchfinder are two of the biggest exceptions to that rule on waiting. You gotta jump on them. Anyways, that's it. That is my uh, unboxing for this uh, this week. I got another package, two packages coming in the mail, uh, one in a few days and one a couple days after that. So we'll see. I'm trying to get out some more reviews, overviews, because I don't want this channel to be all unboxings. That's exciting, but also boring at the same time somehow. So that's it. Let me know in the comments, what are you excited for? What are you thankful for? What creator are you most thankful for? What story are you most thankful for? Here in the US, it is, uh, if this is coming out on Thursday, if you're watching this on the last Thursday of, uh, of November, it's Thanksgiving and tomorrow morning is Thanksgiving. So what are you thankful for? Uh, which creator, which story are you most thankful for? Let me know in the comments and we'll see you later. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, do all those things, but comment, what are you thankful for when it comes to comic books? Let me know. All right, that's it. Take care, stay safe.